Dear students, today we are going to have some backup classes related to uh, reviewing the past simple and the present perfect simple. Today also we are going to, before we start the exercises, we are going to, to, to review uh, the use of the past simple and the present perfect simple and also we are going to uh, have a look at uh, time expressions related to past simple and also to the present perfect simple. A reminder, the past simple, the past simple says exactly when something happened. Uh, with the past simple we use some time expressions like in, yesterday, last, ago. An example, I went to Paris last May. N number two, the present perfect simple. The present perfect simple can express life experiences. Uh, however, the uh, present perfect simple is used with different time expressions like never, just, already, yet, ever, for, since. As an example of the present perfect simple, I have been to Paris once. Have you ever eaten Chinese food? It means ever, here it means at any time in your life. Now we, we had a look at the differences between the use of the past simple and the present perfect simple and also we saw uh, the, expre the expressions used with the past simple and the present perfect simple now we are going to move to exercises first exercise you need to take the correct sentence i'm going to give you two options one of the only one of the options is correct the first uh, the first example, I saw Ahmed yesterday. I have seen Ahmed yesterday. So what is the right answer? I saw Ahmed yesterday or I have seen Ahmed yesterday. As you can see here, we have yesterday. So yesterday is specific time in the past. So the right answer would be I saw Ahmed yesterday. Now we are going to move to the next example. Did you ever eat Chinese food? Have you ever eaten Chinese food? We have ever as a time expression here. So the right answer is have you ever eaten Chinese food? Present perfect. Now we are going to move to the next example, example number three. Maryam won a prize last month. Maryam has won a prize last month. Here we have a time expression also, which is last month. So the right answer would be the first one, of course. Maryam won a prize last month. Uh, for example, some has ever been to London. Some has never been to London. So, ever normally is used with questions, and here we have a sentence. So, the right answer would be, second one, some has never been to London. Example number four, five, has your teacher or has your brother done yet his homework? Has your brother done his homework yet? Here we have a time expression with is yet. Uh, it's normally used with the present perfect, but normally we do not use it in the middle of a, of a question. We use it at the end of a question or a sentence, a negative sentence normally. So the right answer would be, has your brother done his homework yet? The last example, uh, she has bought a new car, or sorry, she just bought a new car. She has just bought a new car. Just is normally a time expression which she used with the present perfect simple. So the right answer would be, she has just bought a new car. Now, after we have finished uh, the first example, we are going to move to the next exercise. Exercise number two, you have two time expressions for the present perfect, which, is, which are since or for. So, in this, in this exercise, you are required to fill in the gaps with since or for. As you know, since 
is used when we talk about uh, when we talk about a point of time. Whereas form we used we use form when we talk about period of time or duration of time. So uh, I have the first example. I have had English lessons ten years. So ten years is a period of time. It's not a point of time. So the right answer would be four. I have had English lessons for 10 years. Salah has collected stamps 2003. The time expression we have here is 2003. 2003 is a point of time. So, in your opinion, what is the right answer? Sure, it would be since. Salah has collected stamps since 2003. The third example. She has been here last month. Last month is a point of time. So the right answer would be she has been here since last month. Now let's move to exercise uh, to example number four. My brother has played football two years. My brother has played football two years. Two years is a uh, period of time so the right answer would be four example number five Sam and Mel have lived together eight months eight months is a period of time so the right answer would be four Ex uh, example number six they have done this, the same job August August is a point of time so the right answer would be, of course, since. We have done the same job since August. The last example, my father has driven his car 1996. 1996 is a point of time. So in your opinion, the right answer, sure, is since my father has driven his car since 1996. Now we are going to move to the last exercise. Practice number three, put the verse between brackets in the correct form. Here as students and in dealing with exercise like this, especially when we talk about the past simple and the uh, uh, present perfect simple you need to detect time expressions in a sentence or a question or whatever now let's move let's let's see the first example janet pack her case and she's ready to go here we have we don't have a specific time so in your opinion what is the right answer the right answer would be has packed her case and she is ready to go. Example number two, you see some at the supermarket last week. So here we have a time expression which is last week and we have just seen that last week is a time expression that used with the past sample. So this is a question. So in your opinion, what is the right answer? Of course, the right answer would be, did you see some at the supermarket last week? Example number three, Mark repair the lights. They work now. Here we don't have any time expression. We don't have specific time. So in your opinion, what is the right answer? The right answer, of course, would be Mark has repaired the lights. They work now. The next example, as you can see, we have a time expression, which is last week. So last week, is it used with past perfect? Uh, sorry, the present perfect simple or the past simple? Sure, it's used with the past simple. So we have 
but we need to put the verb between brackets in the past simple and the right form for go in the past simple is went we went to the theater last week next example I live in England for 30 years I live in England for 30 years here we have a time expression and in your opinion for is used with the past simple or with the present perfect simple? Yes, it's used with the present perfect simple. The right answer would be, I have lived in England for 30 years. The next example, we not have much sun for two weeks. Here we have a negative sentence, okay, so the sentence should be negative because we have not, and we have a time expression which is for two weeks, and for two weeks is a period of time, and we have just seen that uh, for or since are used with the present perfect simple. So the right answer would be, we haven't had much sun for two weeks. The next example, your parcel just arrived. Your parcel just arrived. Here we have a time expression, which is just. Do you think that just is used with the past perfect, uh, the past simple or with the present perfect simple? What do you think? Yes, I can hear your answer. It's with present perfect simple. So the right answer is your parcel has just arrived. Your parcel has just arrived. The next example, here we have also a negative sentence because we have not. So the sentence should be negative. And we have a time expression, which is sense. And we have seen many examples uh, with since or for and we said that uh, since or for are used with the present perfect simple in your opinion the right answer is we haven't organized a party since summer we haven't organized a party since summer the next example this is uh, an affirmative sentence and we have just, uh, as I said many times ago, uh, just is with the present perfect simple, so the sentence should be in the present perfect simple. The right answer is going to be, yes, I can hear your answer, Ali has just found his glasses, he is so happy. Ali has just found his glasses. He is so happy. The following example. Linda buy a house yesterday. Linda buy a house yesterday. Here we have a time expression which is very clear. Yesterday. Yesterday is time expression that is basically used with the past simple. So the verb in brackets should be in the past simple. So the past simple of buy would be Linda bought a house yesterday. Linda bought a house yesterday. Here we have a question and we have yet as a time expression or as a marker, time marker. And we have it at the end in your opinion this question should be in the past simple or in the present perfect i can hear your answer yet is used is used with the present perfect so the right answer is have you done the shopping yet have you done the shopping yet your parents already arrive 
We are in the living room. Your parents already arrived. They are in the living room. Here we have also a time expression which is already. And already, as I said, as we have seen before, it's used with the present perfect simple. And it's always used between the auxiliary have and the past participle, the verb. So the right answer is going to be yes. It's your parents have already arrived. They are in the living room. Your parents have already arrived. They are or they're in the living room. I lose my wallet. I can't find it anywhere. I lose my wallet. I can't find it anywhere. Here we don't have any time expressions and we talk about, uh, uh, we, we don't have specific time here, specific time expressions. So when we don't have a, a specific time expressions, we normally use the present perfect simple. In your opinion, what is the right answer? Yes. I have lost my wallet. I can't find it anywhere. I have lost my wallet. I can't find it anywhere. The next example, we play tennis with our friends yesterday. We play tennis with our friends yesterday. We have here a time expression which is very clear and very simple, which is yesterday. And uh, as we saw, uh, just a few minutes ago that yesterday is used with the past simple so the right, uh, the right answer would be in your opinion yes it's played in the past simple we played tennis with our friends yesterday you ever be to Scotland here we have a time expression which is ever and this is a question Ever, as we saw before, it's used with the present perfect, simple. So, what do you think? Is it the past simple or the present perfect simple? Yes, I can hear your answer. It's present perfect simple. Have you ever been to Scotland? Have you ever been to Scotland? You wash the car yet. You wash the car yet. Here we have another question. And this question we, in this question we have a type expression which is yet. And as I explained before, yet is a type expression which is used with the past, with the present perfect simple. So to your mind, which is the right answer? Yes, I can hear your answer. It's, have you washed the car yet? Have you washed the car yet? It rained a lot last month. It rained a lot last month. Here we have also a time expression, especially it's very specific time expression in the past, last month. And last month, uh, normally last is used with the past simple. So, what do you think? What is the right answer? Is it the past simple or the present perfect simple? Yes, I can hear your answer. It's past simple. It rained a lot last month. It rained a lot last month. We go to Paris in 1999. We go to Paris in 1999. Here also we have a time expression, which is in 1999. This expression in 1999 is basically used with the past simple. So the right answer is going to be we went to Paris in 1999. We went to Paris in 1999. What time get up this morning? What time get up 
this morning. This morning is a time expression. It indicates the past simple. So, what do you think is the right answer? Is it the past simple or the present perfect simple? Yes, I can hear your answers. It's the past simple. So the right answer is going to be, what time did you get up this morning? What time did you get up this morning? This is all, thank you. Dear students, today we review with the past simple and the present perfect simple. We also, we also explained how the present perfect simple and the past perfect simple are used. We saw that the present perfect is used with certain or specific time expressions like just, ever, yet, never, already, and uh, just. Uh, we saw also the past perfect, uh, the past simple. The past simple is used with also with very, uh, with certain time expressions like in, like last, like yesterday, like uh, ago. So it's very important uh, in dealing with the, uh, the exams or with uh, exercises you need to, to know these time expressions because they are very important they are key words in solving exercise related to the past simple or the present perfect simple correctly so i wish you good luck in your exams and have a nice time